Breakthrough geneticists pump the brakes on DNA, revealing key developmental process. I'm Steve Blair. Welcome to Breakthroughs. Researchers at Princeton University have revealed the inner workings of a gene repression mechanism in fruit fly embryos, adding insight to the study of human diseases. Led by graduate student Shannon Keehan, the team used light to activate chemical signals in developing fruit flies and trace the effects on protein called Kaposia or SIC located in the cell's nucleus. SICK binds to DNA and performs a specialized task of silence in genes. The study published in Developmental Cell reveals the dynamics of gene repression of this protein. In a complex piece of music, the silence is running through the melody contribute as much to the scorer's effect as the sounded notes. The biological processes that control development rely on highly sophisticated temporal patterns of gene activation and repression to create life's beautiful symphonies. When a pattern is disrupted, it is like a wrong note in the music. In this case, SICK is a repressor protein that silences certain parts of the genome, allowing other genes to express in harmony with one another. Understanding how repressors like SICK work allows researchers to better conduct the orchestra. Signals that tell you not to do something are just as important as signals to do something, says Stanislav Svartzman. While both SICK and its target genes were established, little was known about the dynamics of gene repression, according to Svartzman. Proteins that activate and repress genes can be likened to the gas pedal and brakes on a car, he said. We know a lot about how the gas pedal works, but this is the first time we are seeing the brakes in action. The authors, including Squibb Professor in Microbiology, Eric Wiseman, winner of the 1996 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, focused on a critical enzyme called ERK that transmits signals from the cell surface to the nucleus. By controlling ERK with light in precisely timed sequences, they could parse out how and when the enzyme engaged the sick protein. They found that after about five minutes of ERK activation, the sick protein was inactivated, which allows its target genes, normally repressed, to turn on. Remarkably, repression was reinstated just as quickly, demonstrating a very fast response time. In addition to offering an unprecedented look at the dynamics of gene repression, the study revealed a rich new territory for further exploration. Natural selection has acted over hundreds of millions of years to tune these processes. Their timing is no accident. According to Kiem, the mechanism's fast response time guards the cells against biochemical noise that could otherwise introduce catastrophic errors. The fly embryo is a very powerful system, Kiem said, and the things we learn from guide our understanding and treatment of human diseases, including cancer, where sick is commonly mutated. Wow! Right on, another step forward. I'll leave a link to the full article in the description, and as usual, please like, share, subscribe, and take care.